Hi, everyone. It's time for a climate scientist to break down Trump's latest unhinged rant on what climate change and global warming are and what they mean. And um, that's what I'm here to do as a climate scientist. So let's get started. The biggest risk today, you know, when I hear these poor fools talking about uh, global warming, they don't call it that anymore. They call it climate change because, you know, some parts of the planet are cooling and warming. It didn't work. So they finally got it right. They call it, uh, they just call it climate change. They so we didn't used to call it global warming. We still do. That's still the term. It was actually the Heartland Institute and Frank Luntz, which are very conservative, far right GOP think tanks, who came up with the term to use climate change in the media because global warming was too scary. So we still call it global warming because global warming temperatures, as you see here, are still increasing over time as a result of man-made climate change. So we didn't stop calling it global warming. It just, the Republicans decided for marketing purposes that climate change was less scary. They used to call it global warming. You know, years ago, they used to call it global cooling. In the 1920s, they thought the planet was gonna freeze. Now they think the planet's gonna burn up. Now, I'm not sure what he's referring to as it in this statement, but we never called it global cooling. Of course, because Donald Trump's not a scientist and probably has never read a scientific paper in his life. I'd um, be surprised if he's ever finished a whole book. Um, he's confusing what scientists discovered about the world during a climate renaissance period, starting in the 1920s. We started to learn more about Earth's past historical climate cycles and learned that if the Earth were behaving unaffected by human activity, our planet should be getting colder. We're still in an interglacial period. And if human beings were not changing the chemistry of the atmosphere, which is of course what drives climate, then our climate would be getting colder, not warmer. Of course, he doesn't understand that because he's an idiot. And we're still waiting for the 12 years. You know, we're down almost mm -hmm. to the end of the 12 year period. You understand that where these lunatics that know nothing, they weren't even good students at school. They didn't even study it. Yes, we do know what we're talking about because unlike Donald Trump, we went to school, we attended classes, we aced those classes, we got our master's degrees. If you're like me, you finished your PhD coursework on the topic of paleotempestology, which is climate change storms over the whole Holocene. They predict, they said, uh, we have 12 years to live and people didn't have babies because they said, we only no. have another. No, no, it's so crazy. And now Trump is, of course, confused probably because he's senile about this whole 12 year thing. And there was a specific point in time by which we predicted that we would cross a threshold of not being able to reverse major parts of climate change, the 12 years that he's confusing a whole bunch of different things together with. That means that, especially for things like oceanic cycles, we've hit the threshold that we've put so much carbon dioxide, methane, other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere that it will take hundreds of years specifically for carbon um, to come back out of the atmosphere, which means that this warming will continue for a certain period of time. Um, we didn't say that the earth would end or that people would stop having babies. I think maybe he's confusing like the handmaid's tale. I, I'm not sure where this is going, um, but also as a one of those students that he's mentioning, um, not the ones who issued the 12 year warning, but uh, I made Dean's List and uh, won all kinds of awards in my academic field. So no, we're actually the ones who are good students and didn't need to have mommy and daddy pay colleges to let us in. But the problem isn't the fact that the oceans in 500 years will raise a quarter of an inch uh, these poor fools talk about global warming all the time. You know, the planet's going to get, it's going to global warm to a point where uh, the oceans will rise an eighth of an inch in 355 years. You know, they have no idea what's going to happen to weather. But global sea levels have already risen 4.1 inches. They're going to raise another eight inches by 2050. We are talking about meters worth of sea level rise, especially over 300 years. It's not an eighth of an inch. The problem is nuclear weapons. It's nuclear warming. But it's called nuclear winter for a reason. Um, but don't tell him that because then he'll try to say that we should just drop nukes everywhere and that will solve global warming the same way he tried to say that nuking a hurricane would fix the hurricane.